none of us want to do anything to make the people that we're cooking for, our loved ones, sick. There's a recent study that came out about food shows, and I know we've all watched food shows at one time or another. They're fun. It's fun to see the contestants compete, and it's fun to see them make these amazing things and imagine making them ourselves. But there's a recent study from the University of Massachusetts uh, that looked at food safety shows and assessed whether or not they were actually using good food safety practices. Well, it's a concern because uh, this is information that's going out to the public about how to cook. You know, some people more ambitious than me may try and make some of those things that we're seeing on TV. And if you're learning how to make something, it's important to learn how to make it the right way. Well, there were several things. Uh, the first thing was most of the contestants were handling food with their bare hands. That's a real problem because we know from studying restaurants that 35% of all food poisoning cases coming out of restaurants are caused by workers touching food with their bare hands. Another problem was you never see, on many of these shows, you don't see anyone washing their hands. And that's a particular problem if people are handling food with their bare hands. You see a lot of these shows, uh, people are not pulling their hair back. It's important to pull your hair back when you're making food because that helps keep your hair out of the food. It's also important for people to be wearing clean clothes when they're preparing food. And as surprising as this is, on a number of these shows, people weren't wearing clean clothes while they were making the food. The researchers looked at 10 of the most popular TV shows, and specifically at 39 episodes from those shows. They compiled the data from all of those shows, and they compared what the workers or the contestants actually did, how they actually worked with the food, to what the food safety guidelines recommended. It's interesting that you ask that. In only 13% of shows did they even mention proper food safety techniques. The researchers concluded with a suggestion. They said that in addition to showing us how to make these wonderful foods, that these shows show us how to make them safely. And specifically, they said, if the food shows will train the contestants how to properly handle the food, and include that in the final error so that we can all see that, they can teach us a bunch of simple things that can help us keep our families safe. Uh, for example, just having the contestants wash their hands before they prepare food, um, having the contestants not handle the food with their bare hands, having the contestants pull their hair back to keep it out of the food, um, also having the contestants use separate cutting boards um, for different types of food. That's important because that helps prevent bacteria from one type of food, like raw meat, from getting on produce. And that's a big deal as you can imagine because we all know you've got to cook meat but, and cook it to the right temperature. But there are different temperatures for cooking vegetables and produce. And if the vegetables and produce have been contaminated by the meat and don't get cooked to the same degree as the meat, they can still have bacteria that can harm someone. Another thing that people could do is when you're handling produce, fresh fruits and vegetables, to wash them under running water. That's important because not only does it get off dirt and debris, it also helps get bacteria off that could otherwise hurt someone. Another thing about that too is if you're handling firm fruit like melons um, or cantaloupe, it's good to use a food brush on that because that can scrape off bacteria that you can't get off with your hands. couple of things. Uh, first, they could teach you to use a separate cutting board just for that meat. Second, they could teach you to use a, fruit, a food thermometer. Um, you know, we've all looked at meat to try to guess whether it's well done enough or not. The problem is you really can't tell by eye though. To be sure that you've got safe meat, it's important to use a food thermometer to know exactly how cooked it is in the middle. Anything we can do to reduce the risk of food poisoning is important. 
Each year, 48 million Americans get some form of food poisoning, and thousands of people are hospitalized. So the cooking shows have a real opportunity to help educate Americans and help all of us keep our families safer.